Hey guys, I'm Mother Daughter Every Day. Today we're making Bangladeshi ricotta sandwiches. So let's get started. So the ingredients that you'll need are one and a half cups of fresh ricotta, a quarter cup of sugar, and four cloves of cardamom. So let's get started. So this is one of the simplest recipes that you can make with fresh ricotta. Uh, Bangladeshi, simplest Bangladeshi recipe. And if you want to learn how to make this fresh ricotta right here. Make fresh ricotta video and you can make fresh ricotta at home with only three ingredients. You won't even have to go out and buy ricotta from the store with $4.99 or $5. When you can make it with just three simple ingredients. And if you don't have the time to make fresh ricotta, then you can also buy store-bought ricotta. But the main crucial thing that you have to have to remember is that you cannot buy salted ricotta. So now we're going to add in our sugar. Going back to what I was talking about. So for if you are going to buy like ricotta from the store, make sure to go to an Italian store where they can sell fresh ricotta that has no salt added to it and I mean how many people has have slash has Italian stores next to their house so why not just make it all you'll have to do is go over to my channel and find out how to make it okay another thing that you have to remember when you're making this chandish is that um, half of the ricotta you're going to separate without any sugar. You have to leave that off to the side and this one over there you are going to need to mix with some sugar which we are doing right now. You'll see the change in color. The one with the sugar will turn sort of like an off whitish type color like heavy whipping cream color versus the ricotta that doesn't have any sugar. So we're going to continue adding in our sugar, just drizzling it in. So as you can see, after you add in all the sugar and all the stuff, it will turn very, very soft. You can see, look at her hands. Like look at that, it's like melty, melty. But that is completely okay and you want that to happen. And look at the other ricotta compared to that. Like the other ricotta is like hard as hard can it be, like Play-Doh. And the other, the one that I'm pointing to at right now is like liquid, basically. Like thick and liquid, like mashed potatoes. So the ricotta that you added sugar to, you can see the one that we scraped off. Here's still the hard one right there. And the one with sugar, you want to add it in to your little wok and turn on the flame. Be careful when you're working with fire. If you're young, then you might want to have an adult with you. And we're just going to cook it for, for about 15 minutes or until it's slightly thickened. Yeah. And we'll see you back in 15 minutes. Slowly but surely, you can see that it's becoming nice and thick. It's clumping together. It's not like a liquidy, liquidy thingy. Now it's like much thicker. It, and you have to continuously stir it or else it might stick to the bottom and burn. And you don't want that to happen. And we will need it to thicken a little more, so we'll see you back when it's a little bit more thickening, thicken, thicker. And whenever you're stirring, before it goes into the pan, it should be white. After it comes out of the pan, it still should be white. Make sure it doesn't get tanned out. I'm not trying to be mean, but you don't want it to get tanned out. You want it to be nice and white and spotless. So now as you can see, it is nice and finished and while it's still sort of soft, moist, you want to pull it off the stove. So all we're going to do is turn off the heat and we're going to plop it back onto our 
plate. And you want to let this cool or else you might burn your fingers. And you never want to do that when you're trying to make a treat. And you treat your finger in proper. And by the way, um, even though I gave sort of the random message, but the real message is that if you try mixing this hot ricotta with the very cold soft ricotta, soft ricotta will have all the water seep out and you'll end up with a runny, curdly mess that you'll eventually have to throw out. So as you can see, our ricotta deliciousness is nice and dried up and it's kind of cooled down. So now we're going to mix our uh, sweetened ricotta with our uh, original regular ricotta. Yeah. If you like this grandma series, uh, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you want more of these grammar series, series, make sure to subscribe to our channel. And now that we've got it all nice and mixed up, next we're going to... So here is our ended, uh, finished uh, shandish. And here is our test out one, or the showy one. Here we're using the bottom of a drinking glass and we're just going to slightly press it on top to get that beautiful design and you can see it stays on and make sure that you slightly butter slightly grease the bottom of your cup so it doesn't stick. So this is your finished result. Now you want to let it sit for about a couple of hours, like two, uh, three to four hours or overnight preferable so it can slightly harden but this is your official recipe so if you like this don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you want more videos don't forget to comment down below if you like us to continue this channel make sure to subscribe and this will be on the grandma playlist by the way but other than that see you next week goodbye